Um, something might not be right with this one. Hey, 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 Aussie Van Man, Mr. Brock. Yes, sir. Um, what, what is that on your roof? On my roof? Yeah. That's my solar panels. No, no, there's something else up there. That's my pet wallaby. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, can you explain something else? Mm -hmm. What's on your antenna? So, so what did you just say? I think that's Riley. You're, you're blaming Riley for this one. Yeah. I, I don't think so. I just don't think so. Riley, 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 I have a question for you. Um, are you the owner of a horse head? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> are you the owner of a horse head? I don't think so. Um, can you come and look at this to see if it's yours? What, am I, what are you talking about? There, there's a horse head, and, and well, Brock said it's yours. Oh, golly. Yeah. What are we talking about? Okay, so he said that um, in the front of his van, on the antenna, that this thing belongs oh. to you. Oh, my gosh, that's a horse head. So it's not yours? It's not mine. Oh, gosh, I was picturing, like, the worst for some reason. Huh. Okay, so, uh, sir. <laughs> where did he get this? Can, can you explain this now? Because it is not Riley's. I don't know. Maybe it just appears and disappears at certain times of the day. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and this is how we start off the Ironwood. This says a lot. Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm in my PJs, I'm in my van, I've just been up for a little while and I'm working on some projects. But while I'm doing this, I thought this was a great time for us to sit down and chit chat a little bit about all of the fun things that I have been up to that I want you guys to see because I think it might be something that you could be interested in. Now we've been out in the desert for a bit now. Of course, coming to Arizona every year, this is a great place for nomads because it is warmer and it is not all of the blistery mess that happens in other areas of the states. However, a lot of people think of it as just, oh, beautiful sunrise, beautiful sunset, a few small pieces of nature, and otherwise might be missing out on some of the other cool stuff that's here. The night sky here is amazing. And one of the things that I have been really appreciating is just sitting out and enjoying that. However, while we're here at this special gathering, the Ironwood, our friends Charles and Choni have joined us and they're sharing something a little bit special. Now, this is something that I wanna share with you guys because I think you'll really like it. It's something that you can achieve. And um, I wanna talk to you a little bit more about it, but I'm gonna finish up in here first and then we'll get to talking, so hang on. Okay, so today's been great. So far, we've gotten to like just hang out, have some fun. There's a little bit of music. We may go be on Greg's Live in just a few minutes. Um, of course, Greg is fit for expedition, but there's a few other YouTubers here also. But for now, let's go check around our camp while my video is rendering. Oh, it looks like Riley is over here and has been cooking. Oh, but she has it all pretty, pretty over here. Look at the lights. And uh, you guys, if you've watched Riley's channel for a bit, these are her Lucy lights. So uh, yeah, go check out her channel for her tour and uh, see what else is in her rig. And then back here, Charles and Tony are making some food on their pullout. Look at this pullout, guys. This is super cool. Okay, so this is Riley doing Riley stuff while Charles is doing Charles stuff. In other words, she's uh, doing YouTube things. You know, it is what it is. And uh, now it looks like she's finished up. So I think we're gonna figure out what we're doing next. And um, yeah, I'll show you a little bit around camp. This is kind of weird though. It glows. Okay, it really doesn't glow. There's a light, but it's so bright. Mm -hmm. So bright. Guys, uh, I have my own video now. Okay, well, kind of. It's, go it's a picture. I, I took this picture. I'm so proud. So, even though I, I don't babe, know. It, it's don't good. Go quite as... You can do it. <laughs> it doesn't want to focus. No. Keep swirling gently. No, it hates me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I took this one too. I'm super excited. I'm learning. This is just, just so fun. <laughs> So, uh, we're yeah, we're going to talk more <laughs> so about this when it's daylight, but, um, look at this. Stay, so 
if you'll give me a main light and a key light here uh -huh. and push the button you're giving he him does, a lot of jobs he doesn't have to push any buttons no, so. yeah okay i'm ready i have switch back you're to gonna have to start paying me I know. I know. Sam, Yo. how does it feel to work for a bunch of non-YouTubers? <laughs> also, non YouTubers. He's not a YouTuber. He <laughs> no. just has cool tricks. <laughs> Ooh, I like that color a lot. Tony, yeah, you look so great like in that, that color. color. <laughs> oh, that's purple. How did you get that? That's that's not a color on the temperature scale, is it? Yeah, it's it's really beautiful. Nice. It's very bright. I really like these little it lights. Nice little less bit, a little more rowing. Oh, yeah. Got it? Yeah, exactly. Wait, take a picture of me. I thought of a new pose. I Woo! think you should. I think you, oh, this yes, is what's sir. going on, guys. Um, high, so Charles high. is going to show us how this oh, works. That's much higher. Sam's a little taller. Oh, Woo! The light. <laughs> so right now we have Tony. Tony is being our model. Tyson is also Tyson! being our model. <laughs> and then behind the scenes we have Charles, who is being our man that actually knows what's going on. And then Sam is being the multi-purpose light man slash push the button guy. And then Riley just came back and is confused. It's okay. And oh, then there's yeah, there's sorry. Brock in the shadows. Sorry. He's, he's hiding. Back, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh wow. Well, he's really having a good time over really here. Light. So yeah. here we go, children. Children. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Charles. Do we have Charles don't demonstrating? Don't be awkward. Don't, don't make it weird, man. <laughs> so there's a lot of things we can do. So I could push uh, the button and expose my camera. I, I'll do one like this. Ooh. Very and cool. Then the next one you see, we're going to do like this. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll go to the next one. But hang on, let's shoot that. Woo! All right, let's, let's shut that. these lights off. And now we go to darkness, guys. Now, Charles is going to be putting together this picture, and you can see this is what we see otherwise. Tony is barely visible right now, just like barely. And um, so, so it's about to get real. Okay, so you guys can see the little glow in the side over here. That's actually Charles's camera where he's capturing this image. And he's going to go out there and do the thing. So All right, Sam, watch what we on. see versus what he shoots. It's awesome. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that looks good. Yeah. Woo! Okay. Okay, Expose so again. hang on, guys. Hang Expose. on. Talk. Okay, they're doing the next one now. Five, four, three, two, one. Click. Oh, yeah, I got right. some wings. Okay, so Charles has uh, what turned out right here. So, that's oh, that's very different than I what we were looking at over there. Today. So that's the first, that's the yeah, last so one we took. Cool. Never done, uh, and then there she's coming out of a doorway. Yeah. Cool. It's like Ghostbusters, Tony. <laughs> so let's try <laughs> something different. Ooh. So Charles, what, what, kind, what kind of phone do you have that you're shooting I've on? I've got the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Okay, okay. Now he's, he's going yeah. to the dark side, guys. Oh no! Are you ready? Okay, we're Go going Sam. for the second one now. Okay. Look at Five, this. four, three, two, one. Ooh. Okay, so this is what we see. It just looks normal. There's not anything crazy going on. But... Right. Whenever we see what it turns into, yeah. Yeah. that's when it gets yeah. super cool. Look at this, guys. That's so cool. Oh, the, the pretty that's cool. really yeah. cool. Now, let's play with something else. Okay. Hurt somebody. This is what he has now. It's super How colorful. It super so. fun. It's like a wave. It's like a slinky. It's like a, it's something. I don't know, but it's really cool. That's and cool, it dude. looks Dancing neat. Yeah. Now it looks kind of like an octopus from afar or maybe some kind of like weird lizard. I don't know. It is what it is, but Charles has it and it's cool. Okay guys, so this is what this one looks like and that is so cool. It really picks up on the horizon a little bit more with the colors. 
So just to give your your uh, cool viewers uh, an idea of what the camera will do, mm -hmm. I will boost that up a second. Okay. And then we're gonna move the camera up a little bit. Okay. I, I think we got too much cloud cover to get stars. Oh. But it's going, guys. It's going. What is it gonna be? What is it gonna be? Guys, before I show you this picture, this is what we're looking at again. You can barely see my little hand here and the horizon. Tony is missing. <laughs> this was just taken so on this phone okay. right this second. Tony is not missing. She is, in fact, still in her gray hoodie, and it looks like it's daytime. What? <laughs> Okay, so since we finished up with the light painting, let's talk a little bit more about it. Our friends Charles and Tony have really gotten into this and they wanted to share this with us and it was so fun. And it takes a little bit of work and effort, but at the same time, the results are so beautiful. I'm so impressed. And this is definitely something that I'm gonna be exploring more. So if you're interested in light painting, let's talk a little bit more about first what light painting actually is, and then also how you can light paint. Because I wanted to share a little bit of this knowledge with you guys so you can get out there and play around if you're traveling like we are. The night sky is a fascinating place to look up and see the stars, but what if you could make it a little bit more interesting with some vibrant colored lights? I, I think that that's a fun activity that we all could do as long as you have a DSLR camera or a camera that can have a light setting where you can adjust it you can do this before we start to talk about it you can look on Google and just look up light painting and there are so many vibrant amazing beautiful colors to be seen everything from writing words to creating really interesting wave patterns like we were doing and you can even start to use fire in some of these now I wouldn't recommend the fire obviously but some of these other ones are super super cool now, what are you going to capture? What kind of light will you capture? This is the question. Now, you might be a little bit surprised because you don't have to spend the most money to get the biggest things in order to create some really cool stuff. In fact, Charles and Tony were telling us that after they started getting into this, they had just used a single flashlight and were able to capture some cool pictures. But then they started to get the bug and start to invest in a few more things. So I'm gonna show you a few of the things that are similar to what they have. You don't have to purchase these by any means because I'm also going to show you what we also took pictures of and it was less than 10 bucks. Remember this guy? Remember my little bunny light? This guy was less than $10 and because it has a bright, beautiful, glowing light, this could actually be used for light painting. Now you can do a static picture with this or you can actually take this and move it around and the camera will capture the flowing like look of the light which is so so neat you see these guys up here you could also use these they have a variety of different color settings and depending on what color setting that you use it could create a different vibe and a different look now as we go to amazon you can just look up fiber optic lights and you can see there are a variety of different kinds here any of these will also work these are what make those really wispy looking lines that we were seeing in some of our photos now you don't have to buy the most expensive expensive one, but I would recommend something that can be battery powered. For example, this guy right here, super expensive, $105, but it's battery powered. 
But if you look down just a little bit further somewhere in here, there's another one that's also battery powered for a lot less. Fact is, if you're going to like a party supply store, sometimes they'll have those little light packets. You can use those. Sometimes you will find that at a party supply store, they have glowing clothes. You can use those. It just needs to be something that carries a vibrant light. And then what you're going to do is make sure your camera settings are great for the low light and then also for the long exposure. If you can set both your phone or your camera to a long exposure, you can do this. Now, I did notice that Aussie Van Man Brock and I were both taking photos at the same time, and because of the very lens that I use versus the lens he was using, it was picking up different colors, and that was kind of fascinating also. There's no wrong way to do this, guys. You just get out there and you play and you have fun. Now, the bigger, bolder movements are going to create a bigger, bolder pattern. The smaller ones are going to make a more compact pattern. And so knowing how to manipulate the size and space that you're in is going to be such a fun discovery. I know that while we were watching Tony, she was doing certain movements. And then when Charles got out there, he was doing different movements. And because of that, you can see the difference in the kinds of photos that we took. It really is just about playing. And I'm super happy that I could like show you guys kind of what the behind the scenes of doing these photos looks like. To be honest, when you're standing out there, it's just like sheer darkness, like dark. And then all of a sudden, this little tiny glowing light. You don't fully get to see what it looks like until the processing has completed. And that's whenever the real journey of joy begins, because then you can see this thing that is so neat that might not have looked quite as cool whenever you were initially shooting it, but then it really comes to life and pops. So I know today's video is a little bit different, but I'm going to show you some more of the pictures that we captured along the way, and I'm going to send you all off for our next adventure. I wanted to share this again because I think you'll enjoy it, and I definitely encourage you to get out and try new things always. We have been trying a lot of cool stuff while we've been in the desert, and I can't wait to share more of that. Remember guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time, so so uh, I'm sending you off with some cool pictures. Till next time, guys. Bye. Also, guys, if you're interested in light painting, look in the description box below because I'm going to put some basic instructions on how you can light paint. Um, it's just some interesting little basics as to how to set your camera and what to expect. It's not anything too in-depth, but it gives you a good starting point because I wanted to give this information to you so you could be out there photographing the night skies also. Bye.